grab a cigar today and uh, one of those things happens where you open up the humidor and it's like wow so I was hunting through bottom drawer all in cello my middle drawer is sparse but a couple of nice cigars in there the top drawer some smaller cigars and oh wait a minute mold I've been hit with the dreaded mold um, you can see it there this is not uncommon this time of year um, I suspect what has happened is I recharged the humidifier which in this particular humidor you can see in the back is the humidifier there the gold portion I recharged it uh, a few days ago and uh, we hadn't turned the air conditioning on in the home yet um, it did reach 25 26 degrees Celsius uh, in the house and this top drawer became a little science experiment so what do we do with that now um, we'll talk a little bit about prevention in a bit but let's remediate this first first off let's examine these you can see surface mold there we're not talking about anything green or black or blue which is good uh, green black or blue chuck your cigar white this white mold I don't know the scientific name for it but it's all around the world it's in everything you can't get rid of it it grew on the outside and you can see that nothing in the foot so we're gonna take a little cloth you can use a paintbrush any soft cloth and you just want to wipe it off gently and you can see I'm trying to twist it I'm just twisting it in the direction of the wrapper you see how all the mold just came right off that's it now it's fine take a look at the next one that was next to it nothing really generated on that one you can see most of it happened at the back of the drawer closest to the humidifier um, that's just because of an increased humidity back there because of the recharged oh wait a minute here we go here's a great one to have a look at you can see the foot there this one has gotten some mold on the inside so even if we wipe the surface off here you can still see right down in there it's in the foot that unfortunately we're gonna have to uh, open that one up and have a little closer look just for everybody too that one's clean again you can just wipe off the surface like that some people say use isopropyl alcohol personally I know the molds in there you, every humidor everything has it in there there's nothing you can do about it I'm not gonna wipe it down with alcohol that's just me you by all means if you feel more comfortable doing that go right ahead just be careful with how much you use this one flaked a little bit on the end when I wiped it at the Gloria Cubana I think is uh, is good to go so it looks like the five or six cigars we had get some mold on them um, are recoverable that one's fine and the rest in here now a lot of people will say take it right out and wipe this portion down here with with isopropyl alcohol like I said I don't so we can put those back in there now and then let's quickly get a cutter and we're gonna open up the end on this guy we have the cigar now and you can see the end has a little bit of mold on the inside there you can see there it didn't really go far me I would smoke that uh, at this point I don't think it's gonna hurt you uh, but it's totally up to you what you want to do with the cigar that has had mold on the outside and potentially in the foot um, the cause of this is just that uh, increase in humidity that was caused by the temperature rising inside the humidor so the ambient temperature in the house went up to about 25 26 uh, Celsius I had just charged the humidifier it's summer 
the uh, humidor was already at 68% uh, relative humidity. Um, in hindsight, maybe I didn't need to recharge the humidifier. I did. The humidity spiked, the temperature spiked, the top level of the humidor became susceptible to uh, that mold and it uh, quickly developed on the outside of the cigars. We caught it in time, pulled the humidifier out, uh, let it dissipate some of its humidity, brought the uh, humidity down and we turned the air conditioning on in the home. We're lucky enough to have that. Uh, if you don't, find a cool spot in your home to store your cigars and uh, you won't have to worry about this happening to you. But keep in mind, the key is keep the temperature down and watch your humidity. If you can keep it from going above 70%, 